I remember years ago, words of the Cardinal then, Ratzinger, later Benedict XVI, that he said that we had too many structures and that those first Christians were practically no structures were capable of evangelizing and we, with so much structure, with so many meetings, with so many organizations, are not capable of doing the same. The Lord sent these apostles two by two, first of all, that is, with His presence in their midst, united, unity, unity in the community, unity in the parish, unity in the family, unity, unity in the homeland. He sends them united, and the price of unity must be paid. The price of unity is always charity. At times he manifests himself in forgiveness, and other times he manifests himself in always charitable correction. Other times he manifests himself in knowing how to yell, not to pretend to be always right, and not to pretend that one sees it as you have to, to put it in practice, except logical and things that are essential. First, he sent them unity, but then he tells them something strange, take nothing, take nothing, just the minimum. They were not naked, they were not, they had a dress, they were sandals, they were not going to go barefoot. They had to walk a lot. Why does Jesus say this to them? Because He's giving them a lesson. You have to trust in God. You have to trust in God. And they do it. And the evangelist says that they went out to preach conversion. It is interesting to see what they did. It could be something else, to go out to preach about conversion, not to do social works. It is not that they did not do social works, I suppose they did, but they didn't go for that. They went out to preach conversion, to cast out demons, also to give the sacraments of the anointing of the sick, the anointing with oil, many sick people, and cure them. They anoint with oil, the sacrament of anointing, that is, a strict spiritual work. Church always carry out social works, but knowing very well that the first thing, the proper thing, that if she didn't do it, no one else will do it, was the spiritual work. But I would like to focus on this point of conversion, because for them, for the apostles, it was surely also an act of conversion to trust in Jesus and to take nothing for the way. This trusting in God is already the first act of conversion. I believe that this is what today, principally, not the only thing, but principle, each one of us must do. The first conversion we have to make is to return to trusting in God. Jesus' words to Saint Martha must always ring in our ears. Martha, Martha, you are anxious and nervous about so many things, and only one thing is necessary, trust in God. Saint Paul insisted. The first thing was faith, not the only thing. And in fact, he says that in the end, when we are with God, faith will disappear because we will be face to face with God. And what will remain will be love. Faith is first. Faith is trust. At the moment when you find yourself sick or with sick people in your care, worrying about the future, your work, your health, with worries about your religion, institution, your country, the world, at that moment, in that situation in which you find yourself, conversion is to return to trust. 
Lord, I trust in you. I trust in you. Divine mercy. In you I trust. Secret heart of Jesus. In true I just. Trust. Faith. Opens the door to hope. Lord, I trust in you. And I hope. I hope that you fulfill your promise. You will not leave me alone in the struggles of life. You will forgive my sins, as you have promised. And if I die united to you, you will open the gates of heaven. There is eternal life. Lord, I trust and I hope. Let us make this act of conversion. I repeat, everyone has his own situation, his circumstances. Sometimes they are so hard. Sometimes they are so distressing. Sometimes the cross, the cross almost seems impossible to bear. It is precisely the moment that we have to convert. This is what the apostles preach, and this is what we have to preach today, and this is what we have to do today, all of us. Lord, I trust in you, I hope in you, and I want to love you. Soviet.